Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about the W Lab Honey Bean Cushion. This product was kindly provided for review by Q Depot, which is a Korean cosmetics and skincare store. The product description says, W Lab Honey Bean Cushion is a popular Korean makeup product which contains honey to provide enough moisture and glow to your skin. It has a strong power of covering blemishes and gives you a flawless finish. One touch will give you moisturized and glowing skin. It comes in SPF 50 PA++ to protect from the sun. This cushion comes in a standard case, but I really enjoy the irritated looking bee girl on the front. The cushion case is functional and aesthetically pleasing. There is a large mirror inside and a small puff to apply the cushion. I don't love this puff, it's very rubbery, but it does the job. I found that a lot of the product was actually pulled to one side of this cushion, but there is a ton of product inside, which is good considering this is almost 30 US dollars. The product is quite thin in texture and easy to spread. The color is actually quite orange, but it somehow works with my summer skin. I find this cushion quite easy to apply, though I do find that I need to blend it perfectly to start with, rather than being able to go back and blend certain spots later. It tends to get chunky and flaky around my hairline, which is very annoying, but it's not the end of the world. It doesn't do very well on very dry skin, so when I have eczema on my eyelids, it does make it look flakier than usual. This cushion looks a little bit better after two hours than it does freshly applied. When it's freshly applied, it looks a little off in color and slightly too matte to look natural. After two hours, it looks so much nicer. It's slightly dewy, though it's not greasy, and it looks like a perfect color match. Even after 6 hours of wear during the summer heat, it still looks nice, though if I've been sweating from the heat I will need to blot of course. This is what the cushion looks like after 12 hours of wear. It's still looking pretty good, it's nice and even on my skin and it's not too oily. My lipstick however, did not survive work. I took this cushion with me on a working holiday to the east coast for about 2 weeks as my only product. I found that it was quite quick and easy to use, though with the puff included you do need to clean it every time you use it. I'm not sure why, but the puff seems to just absorb a lot of the product and it just sort of stays inside the puff, so when you use it the next day you're getting all of this old grimy foundation coming out and it doesn't work very well, it's just quite gross. This isn't a problem that I've encountered before with other cushion puffs, so I would just replace the puff with something else, like I really like the Etude Ear Puffs or the Misha Cushion Puffs. But otherwise, I found that this cushion was easy to use, it is quick and mess-free, and it lasts really well during the summer heat for me. I really love that this comes in really cute packaging, and it is a reasonable to higher price point at about 30 US dollars. The shade matches my summer skin quite well. I have got on a bit of a tan, you can sort of see on my arms, it's really tan because I forgot my sunscreen on the top of my arms and got sunburnt. But I'm not complaining because at least it does match me now and I can get the use out of it during summer. After about two hours of wear, it looks super natural and lovely on the skin. And it's easy to apply and quick and mess free for travel. I don't love that it takes about two hours to warm up to my skin. It does look a little sort of chalky and too matte to start with, which I don't really like. The puff is quite plasticky feeling and it needs to be rewashed with every use, which does get old quite quickly. And the BB cream must be blended properly as soon as it hits the skin. You can't go back and re-blend after you've done the rest of your face because it'll just pill up and roll up and it just looks really, really awful. So I'm happily surprised with how much I like this cushion. But I'm really glad that it was sent to me for review because it's honestly not something that I would have gone out and picked myself because I haven't really heard much from this brand or 
the shade looks too dark for me but in the end it actually worked out really well like it looks really nice on my skin and I'm really happy with it it really has become my go-to product I do love cushion puffs because they're so easy to use and I'm really keen to use this up during summer because I just know that it's not going to be as good during winter for the color of my skin so I really want to use it up while I can the only couple of bad things about this product is that it has to be blended quickly, you can't really re-blend it and you have to wash the cushion puff um, quite a lot. But to be fair, you should really wash your cushion puffs quite regularly anyway. Generally I would use one side of the puff and then flip it around and use the other side the next day so I'd use it twice rather than once so it's kind of annoying but it's not really the end of the world and those are the problems that it probably wouldn't stop me from purchasing it again so perhaps next summer if I haven't found something else that I like I actually probably would repurchase this product I would recommend the W Lab Honey Beam Cushion to any princesses who are about NC15 in skin tone who are looking for a quick and easy way to apply their base products and are looking for gorgeous dewy natural looking skin after about two hours thank you so much for watching this review and I'll see you next time bye